Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a watercolor and color pencils portrait study. The time lapse of the drawing is up on my Instagram if you wanna check it. Watercolor paper is quite delicate, so I tend to draw my portraits separately and then trace them lightly over the paper. The paper I'm using here is by Arches and is their hot press one. I always use cold press paper for my watercolors, but here I also wanted to try to add the pencils at the end, so it was better to choose a smaller surface. I recently made a switch to this brand, and I'm going to try to stick with it for a while, just because each paper behaves a bit different and it takes some time to adjust. I'm using a fairly limited palette here. I think Quinacridone Gold, Quinacridone Rose and Ultramarine Blue for my primaries and Burnt Sienna and Burnt Amber as extras. Although I use Burnt Amber in all my paintings. So first I draw her face using an HP Graphite pencil or any hard pencil so it doesn't smudge too much. And then I start with light washes of color. When I'm painting with watercolors, I usually work from light to dark, but sometimes I would also start with dark accents, just because they can help you with values. Because hot press paper isn't as forgiving as cold press or rough, I'm trying to work fast and to make sure to blend the edges before they dry. Otherwise, it may not be easy or possible sometimes to make corrections. I'm not too worried though, because I hope that even if there's any unwanted texture, I will be able to cover it with the colored pencils later. If you have any questions about the watercolor process, you can leave them in the comments below and I will try to reply or to show it in a different video but this one is mostly for me to get started and to get things moving because I've never recorded anything only a few Instagram reels very simple ones so never recorded, never edited absolutely never done a voiceover before so it may take some time Color pencils are also very new to me. I had my polychromos for about a decade and never really got along with them. Now I know I was using the wrong surface. It was probably a very smooth paper and the pigment just wouldn't rub on it. So they seem very weak and almost dull. And I thought that maybe they just weren't for me. Now that I'm trying it with watercolor paper, I'm finding out that they are actually quite nice and that together they create lovely textures. I also went ahead and got a couple of luminance pencils as well as some there were drawing and there were life as ones. I would say they are creamier than polychromos, or at least they are creamier to me. I don't know if that's the correct term for it, but I like them all for different purposes. Anyway, I want them basically for a few touches to help smooth out those harsh lines that are on her skin. I don't think I will be using them on their own just because I feel they can be quite time consuming. I don't know yet, but that's what I have in mind right now. I like the result and I like how they feel, so I have some ideas for future projects that I want to work on, both for watercolors and oils, so I have to figure out a way to find the time for all of it. I'm also gonna be traveling to Spain in about a week and I haven't decided yet what I'm going to take with me. 
I don't know if I should take my oils or the watercolors because they are more portable. But then I know I will be missing my oils. Yeah, still deciding. Hope it was somehow interesting to watch. If you have any feedback, please leave it below and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye!